Now that we learned how to implement the pre-built CSS theme into our application, let's switch this to use the SCSS instead. And the reason we want to do that is because we're already using SCSS in our application. We already have that build pipeline set up. And also we will get access to some really powerful mixins that Angular Material gives us using SCSS. To find out more about the Angular Material mixins, we could go to Guides, then select Theming Angular Material. Then underneath the Getting Started, they have one of the mixins that we're interested in is the Theme Mixin. And this will allow us to apply our color palette to our application. It also says here your application needs to have a SAS theme file, and we're good in that area. We're currently using a SCSS file already, so we're good there. Then here they have a really good example to get you started. And within this example, they're using the theme mixin, and they're setting three different properties. And what we're interested in is the color property. And they're currently setting it to a violet palette. They have multiple palettes you could pick from. And if you go to the right here, pre-built color palettes, there's 12 different palettes you could pick from. I'm thinking of going with the rose palette, but feel free to play around with these different palettes when we implement them. And if we go back to the getting started, and then they're also setting the typography. We, we won't be getting into that in this video, but they're, they're setting the font family and also the density, like spacing in the components by setting it to zero here. Then also in later videos, we will be getting into the color scheme, light and dark, and different ways you could set that. But let's use this entire example. I'll copy this entire snippet here, and we'll add this within our project. Let's add this snippet to our main style sheet, and that's our styles.scss file. And up here at the top, I'll just paste in our new snippet. And here we're calling our Angular Material Library we installed a couple of videos back, and we're going to reference it using Matt. And that's going to give us access to the theme mixin where we can set the color. And I'm going to change this color to rose. Feel free to pick whatever palette you prefer. And then all I'm interested in right now is just setting the color. So let's remove this density and the typography. So it should look like this. And then also the color scheme, this is going to be an entire video within itself. So for now, I'll just target the light theme and then leave it targeting the HTML. We're going to be changing that in the future as well. But before now, the bare minimum to change a color palette, all you need is this. Now we need to do some cleanup work. We need to remove this theme.css file we created in a prior video. So instead of deleting this, I'm going to leave it in the directory so people can reference it. But I'm going to stop pointing to it in the angular.json file. So in here, I'll remove this. And again, whenever you make a change to the angular.json, you need to restart the application. So I'll do that now. Shut it down and restart it. Now we should see our new rose palette color being added to our application in the browser. In the browser, we're using the light version as we selected the color scheme and also our rose color theme palette is being applied. Feel free to pick a pre-built color palette and play around it with these different colors. But that's how you apply a pre-built color theme to your application. Now, what if you want to create your own custom SCSS theme instead of using one of Angular Materials pre-built themes? And that's what we'll learn about in the next video.